Hi everyone, Robert here, and a quick update on this E36. This E36, 1995, and I got this back in October 2021, last year. Um, I, it was posted for 177,000 on Marketplace, and we had, uh, and we brought it down to 158,000 pesos. And the car pretty much came like this already. Uh, I got the side skirts, the rims uh, um, was there already. The paint wasn't wasn't too bad. Well, actually, it was kind of bad. So I had to repaint this recently, around a month and a half ago. I thought I think you saw that video there. Um, but yeah, and it was like really, really lowered. So um, uh, I had to go change the the. The, the springs because uh, it was it was heated it was chopped off so it wasn't really that safe so first thing I did was the oil change and the springs to make it really drivable and as you can see I have new tires on here um, I had the 20550 R17s um, now I got the 240 no 225s 45s R17 and it actually looks pretty large on this thing. It's really really nice. Um, and these are the Nankang um, Ultra Sport NS2 tires. So I got that. Come on, it's budget friendly. Come on, I just spent the 158,000 or so on this car plus all of the stuff that I did to it. Anyway, the first thing I did when I got this car the following day was the oil change. And I've been doing constant oil changes here. Like every couple months, I'm changing the oil to make sure that the engine is running well. And I do change the filter as well. So making sure that the, the engine is really good. I mean, come on, it's 27 years old. You got to do that. Actually, one of the earlier cosmetic things I did was change the emblems. And these are original emblems. And um, Sir Tito, my mechanic, um, changed it even before I knew about the price tag of these. So he installed it and then told me the price tag. It was really expensive. But honestly, looking, at, looking back, it's actually pretty worth it. Let's go pop the hood. All right, this is a 316i engine, guys. I actually had the engine cleaned um, back in October or early November. So yeah, so it looks pretty clean from back then. It actually needs a little bit more cleaning, but as you can see, for a 27-year-old car, it's not, it's not bad at all, right? Of course, um, the headlights I changed, um, well actually I cleaned. Uh, these are the original headlights on here. I did tint this uh, yellow because it looks really nice and I, tint, I, I bought this from Lazada, the clear ones, and I had it tinted yellow. And for it to be an older, older car, I do check on a regular basis the um, the coolant, uh, I think there is a slight coolant leak on here, but I'm not sure where the leak is going. Um, underneath, in the garage, it's, just, it's not really wet. Now when I changed the tires, I discovered that the shocks were not so good anymore. So that actually needs some replacing. As you can see, this is already cracking already. So I'm getting my parts from Sportline, Sportline in Manila. So, um, Sir JC have, has yet to give me the costing of that. These side markers I got from Lazada too. Um, I do like the original, but it looks a little dated and old to put in this nice paint job. So, I opted for this one, but I actually really like the orange look. Just like the orange um, park lights. A good practice to do also is to constantly check the oil levels. Now, since I do constant um, oil changes, um, the oil levels is really good. I can see the color of the oil. The thermostat was actually um, changed as well when they um, did that. So and actually, and the radiator was actually flushed out. So that's one of the things I actually did, and I changed this also. 
um, but the timing belt still um, it still sounds like pretty loud but when you put WD-40 on this uh, the sound disappears but after a while it comes back any suggestions on how to fix it? So one of the major things I also did was did a reupholstery of the seats. Um, yeah, so um, I do make furniture for a living. So um, yeah, so we our team actually did the the um, upholstery on this. I went for amber colored stitches because of the amber colored gauge. But um, yeah, I already got this. Um, original to the car. I changed the boot. I got this also from Lazada. I got this from G Works. Sergino, shout out. I changed the radio. I also changed the speakers, guys. Um, yeah, the the ceiling was all falling apart, but yeah, right now it's pretty good. I still have missing pillars, but I don't mind. Um, I actually love driving this. Oh yeah, I got this also from Lozada too, these pedals. Um, yeah, the floor mats, I got it from Lozada. I would like the original BM ones, but um, yeah, one at a time. Now, these taillights I actually ordered from eBay. So um, I was looking at some prices um, on, on Marketplace and buying from eBay and buying from Marketplace was about the same price. I actually paid slightly more since this was shipped from, um, from the US, but look at it, it's, it looks really nice, looks really brand new. It really um, updates the look of the car. Look at those tires, guys. 225s, um, 45s, R17s. And of course, <laughs> I got this at Lazada too. <laughs> yes, it's not original, but it looks nice. It's okay. And look at the quality paint job on this. Um, really nice. And before it was um, not as smooth. Paint was chipping and I'm really glad I spent on <laughs> the paint job. Also, I had to go change the exhaust. So the entire exhaust from the engine um, it's all stainless steel. I got a new resonator, a G-Ready um, um, exhaust over here that gives it a really nice um, grunty sound. So I'm really enjoying it. And one of the reasons why I actually had to change it is because uh, there was a hole in the resonator and the exhaust was actually going inside of the car causing, giving me headaches and stuff. Not healthy, not good for you. So. I actually had to spend, I think, 14 or 16,000 pesos for the entire stainless steel exhaust with resonator and a new muffler. So, um, and I kind of hope that the, um, that the gas mileage um, improved after that. But I did have to go to BMW to Nanning in, um, I think, Paranyaki. I think that's where Sir Edwin is located. I forgot. I think it's Paranyaki or in BF Homes. Anyway, um, Sir Edwin did a really great job tuning the engine because after um, I changed the muffler, it was still smelling really rich, the exhaust. So he actually tuned it. Um, the engine responded a lot quicker and faster. And yeah, and it doesn't smell like gasoline all the time. So um, yeah, special shout out to BMW Tuning, Sir Edwin, go to him, he'll tune your engine for you. So yeah, so this car, um, an E36 1995 316i, um, I've been told that the 316i engine, the four cylinder engine is really good, really strong. So for a 27 year old car, this feels really great. I'm really, really happy about it. And of course, um, I'm 42 years old right now, so I was around 15 years old when this car came about. Um, and when I was in my teens and early in college, I was actually dreaming of, well, I would have never thought I would actually have one of these babies. And I actually was dreaming of this one too, an E46. So um, thankfully, um, I got these two beautiful cars, works really great. I'm really happy with it uh, and so amazing 
for 27 years old and 22 years old, the engine, it runs really, really good as if it's brand new. It's really awesome. So I don't think I'll be ever, I'll ever buy a brand new vehicle ever again. I'm just making sure uh, to take care of all the, all of the vehicles that we have um, and do a long term and, and just take care of it. If you take care of it, it'll last for a very long time. All right guys, that's the quick update on this car. So pretty much, again, just to recap, what I did, oil change and continuous oil change, check the coolant levels, check the levels of the, of the oil to make sure it's doing good. Um, oh, oh yeah, also I had to change the compressor on this recently, um, a brand new one, so to make sure that the air conditioner um, does really well. I mean, come on, we live in the tropics. We need a really good um, air conditioner. Um, but other than that, really good car. Cosmetically, just a paint job, um, PMSing, and keep on using it. You gotta keep on using it. Yes, this is a daily driver. Anyway, um, that wraps it up. Till next time, everyone. Cheers.